novej privatizácii. Believe it or not, the power to do things differently is in your hands. Parliament is there to serve you. You have the power to decide how it does that. It is possible to change this rotten old system and you can decide to do it. A change in the whole way we run things. For a start, I believe people should have the right to sack their MP if it's proved they've seriously misbehaved. Today, government is saying to the people of Eden Valley, to people in Windsor and Maidenhead, to people in Sutton, to people in Liverpool, what is it that we are doing that's stopping you from doing what you want to do? How can we stop stopping you? And vitally, how can we stop others from again, how can we stop stopping others from the things they want to do? But this should just be the beginning. This should not start and end with these four areas. I want other forward-thinking, entrepreneurial, community-minded people and neighborhoods in our country to come forward and ask for the same freedoms and the same support. If you've got an idea to make life better, if you want to improve your local area, don't just think about it. Tell us what you want to do, and we will try and give you the tools to make this happen. I passionately believe that we've, what we've begun here will spread right across the country, covering it in innovation, local inspiration, and civic action. It is my hope and my mission that when people look back at this in five or ten years' time, they will say, in Britain, they didn't just pay down the deficit, they didn't just balance the books, they didn't just get the economy moving again, they did something really exciting in their society. Whether it is in building affordable housing, tackling youth unemployment, inviting charities to deliver public services, the people in Britain worked out the answer to the big social problems of our time. And a big part of that answer is the big society. I think we are on to a really big idea here a really exciting future for our country, and today, I hope, is one more big step towards that goal. We're at a critical moment in the life of our country, the kind of moment that doesn't come along very often, Millions of people are realizing that unless we do things very differently, a few years from now we'll just have more scandals, more revelations, all over again. Let's give people the right to sack MPs. Let's stop all big donations to political parties. Let's elect the House of Lords and let's make the voting system fair so that governments can't just get all that money and all that power with only a minority of you voting for them. Let's put an end to self-serving politics and put you back in charge.